A wonderful comedy show tonight by Eslam. It was one of the best comedy shows that I've seen in quite some time. I've even seen George Carlin live, but this made me laugh even more. Hey! Welcome, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for making this event sold out. I'm so honored. My dear Hassan and Shab, Eslam is trying to find me, Shazan. I know. I know you. You know Eslam? No, yeah, Eslam. So many years. <laughs> I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> Which Islam do you know? This Islam or that Islam? Now you Islam. Or oh, I... well then you're good. You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Islam. I am Iranian. Uh, and if it's okay, can we do English tonight? Yes. Yeah, sure. Everyone right. speaks English? Perfect. Last time you were here, why you speak English so much? I was like, why don't you? I don't understand. Can you subtitle what the hell you just said? <laughs> <laughs> Iranian, baby. I'm not going to pick on Iranians for not speaking English. You know why? Because they don't learn English, not that they don't want to. They're told every year by the opposition, we're going back to Iran. So why do we need to learn English? <laughs> you know? So that's, that's why they speak like this. My friend, last week my wife and I went to Palm Esperin <laughs> and near a gas station and was this uh, fish place they were they were selling a smoked salmon <laughs> oof and oof <laughs> Where it's like, what do you mean shit. oof oof are you having sex <laughs> <laughs> the man the myth the legend I've known him for let's say two hours he did rock the house he really rocked the house. San Jose, watch out, he's coming back. LA, you don't know what you have. I I don't know if you've noticed or not, Ozzy, you might remember. I used to be heavier, right? Yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah recently. But Come on, you're my future ex wife, you should know this. <laughs> no, I've lost about 62 pounds, actually. Yeah, but initially you were much, much slimmer. She says you were slow. Oh, that's when we were going out. Now I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> is, is she your ex? No, my I'm future ex-wife. <laughs> no, she's my future she ex-wife. Ex. After I divorce my wife, future I'm going to marry her for her money. Oh, I'm going to marry her for her money, and then I'm going to divorce her. Well. You know, my name might be Eslam, but when it comes to money, I'm Moses. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, wow. So, before I used to have a six pack, but now as you can see, it's an air bag. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was going to a 7-Eleven uh, uh, about a month ago, and I saw this guy sitting there like this, holding a sign saying, I have eight kids, anything would help. So the kindness of my being a kind human, I went into 7-Eleven, I bought my lotto tickets, and I bought him a six pack and I brought it to him. And then he goes, what the hell is this? And I said, you said anything would help. He goes, yeah, this is condoms. And I said, yeah, six pack of condoms so you don't have more children. Very good. <laughs> you said anything would help. So I, being an Iranian, having the name Islam and being born Muslim, you can imagine what it's like at the airport for me. <laughs> the place they don't search is right here and one time they did and they were asking me to remove my clothes and I said why? I said don't argue and they said bend over and I said you're not gonna find Osama bin Laden in there <laughs> there is <laughs> so what happened? handcuffed and I got interviewed and got put on the list I really really enjoyed today's show at Islam Shams um, it was just fantastic I really really enjoyed all of the funny jokes he had to make and I thought it was phenomenal. He's one of a kind and it was just so great that he came all the way to Minnesota from LA just out of his time and There's something about questions that I cannot get over. First of all, I remember I was uh, giving a tour of Los Angeles to my friends from other states and we were going by Vine and Hollywood uh, Boulevard. There's this uh, Christian group holding signs trying to convert you at the corner of Hollywood in the worst place. And then a black guy tells me, yo, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. I was like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. I was like, my man, my man, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> but, oh, you, and I put on my thick Persian accent. 
because I thought we were going back to Iran. So I was like, are you talking with me, sir? Go, yeah, my man, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. And I don't know why he repeated everything. So uh, then he goes, uh, hey, I want to talk to you about Jesus. And it's like, Jesus? what? I want to talk to you about Jesus. And I said, Jesus? But no, what's on this word? And I said, oh, Jesus. Well, no, it's Jesus. I said, okay, what about Jesus? Well, if, uh, you know, he loves you. I said, well, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But uh, I'm a straight man. I don't like guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that kind of love. Not the queer love. Um, he, he, he died for you. I'm like, shit. I didn't even know him. What <laughs> you know, Didn't he not have any friends or anything? And then he goes, now, you know, Jesus is the one that saves. And I'm like, really? I've been looking for a banker. Uh, which bank was he working for? Now, man, now, man, he's not a banker. He's the Lord. I was like, oh, so he's English. English? Lord? English? Go, no, no, man. Uh, he was, I must have been thinking, man, this motherfucker is crazy. You can't understand what I'm saying. So, I. I once was driving on 405, I saw a sign that says, need help, call Jesus. So I called the number and it says, uh, leave your uh, name and we'll call you back. So I call, somebody called me back and I'm like, hello, he goes, yeah, this is Jesus. I said, excuse me, you called my number. Uh, your number, what is your number? So I told him the number, he yeah, has my number. And I said, who are you? Goes, this is Jesus. It's like, no, I called to speak to Jesus. Jesus. And I said, Pendejo, I'm Spanish, I'm Mexican. Jesus, he is Jesus. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, no. okay. Uh, what should I do? He goes, how big is your jar? Like, how big what? What? How big is your jar? Like, I don't know how big is Georgia. <laughs> no, how big is your jar? Like, what is your... Pendejo, how much grass do you have? <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> smoke get out of here. Can you explain to me what the hell is going on? Pendejo, I'm a gardener, I cut the grass. <laughs> oh, that grass. Why? You said if I need help. Yes, how big is your jar? I said, you're asking about Georgia again? <laughs> Where did you learn English? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I learned uh, in best food. I don't understand. Islam is very funny because tonight I saw him for the first time and realized this man can say anything. This man can tell the audience anything, and they'll crack up because it's sincere and funny. It doesn't mean he. It doesn't mean he doesn't have jokes. It means he doesn't need them. I remember when I was in uh, college, there was this born again Christian preacher at the corner. He stood there so long in a semester that the whole grass was bald in that area because he was not allowed to move around and preach the word of uh, Jesus to everybody just in one corner. Have you noticed the whole show is becoming about Jesus? And my name is Esla. <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> we have an audience member here tonight. Uh, what is your name, sir? Say it loud so I can hear you. Ali Khamenei Pur. Ali Khamenei Pur. And the comedian is Islam. Ladies and gentlemen, you're fucked tonight. <laughs> imagine. Why imagine we can do it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not wow. gay. I'm not gay. I didn't mean to do that. My boyfriend is though. Anyway. <laughs> so, no, no. We, we, I've known her for a long time, so we joke a lot. That's why she's like a second wife. Except for the sex part, she's my second wife. I love her. She is, she is, she is. So um, this preacher guy, he he would come to me and say like, hey, can I talk to you about Jesus? And I said, who's that? He goes, he's the one who saves. They, that, they all have the same line. And I said, okay, what does he save? He goes, you. And I said, I'm not swimming, I'm not drowning. <laughs> what do you need to say? He goes, you see, you have to believe in him. And I said, like, why? He goes, if you believe in Jesus, you go to heaven. I'm like, and if you don't, well, you go to hell. I said, well, that's okay, sir. 
I come from Iran. <laughs> Iran is in hell. So, <laughs> no big deal. No big deal at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. We were blessed to have Islam Shams come and make it a wonderful evening. He brought his game. He brought his just he, he, talent. He, he his, got the giggles out of everybody. Yeah, he got he got the giggles out of everybody, and you know we were really happy to see him. And um, for your next gig, I definitely recommend having Islam Shams. We won the Academy Award in uh, 2006. That you were just telling your friends, and Persian media was all over me. They wanted to interview me. People want to take picture with me as I'm about to eat my chili kebab in a restaurant, and I'm like it. Hi, Mr. Shams, can we take a picture with you? I'm like, oh, okay, I put it down. And you know, nothing comes between me and my chili kebab. <laughs> but uh, I had to get up because I didn't want to. Whatever the food was there in front of me, I don't remember the menu. Were you there? Do you remember that night? Were we on a date? <laughs> we were? Man, I have vague memory of it. What was I wearing? Was I wearing anything? Memory. Or was I naked? <laughs> no? <laughs> my thoughts are wrong. Anyway, so. Uh, one day, you know, when you're an actor, these people approach you and go like, I want to take a picture, I want to take a picture. You you start thinking you're some hot shit or something. <laughs> and I was no exception to that. You know, actors need attention, so people were wanting to take pictures with me. This kid comes to me, and it was a St. Patrick's Day. I was wearing all green. I had shaved my head like this, and I had a much bigger belly, if you can imagine. I was heavier, you know, I was, I've lost 60 something pounds. So, uh, and I was wearing green on St. Patrick's Day. I was going to get coffee for me and my wife. This kid grabs me from behind like this on my leg. I'm like, why? He goes, I love you. I said, well, I love you back. Said, what can I do for you? He goes, can I take a picture with you? I'm thinking, damn, the age of the fans is getting younger and younger. <laughs> so we took five pictures and I said, so can I have one of them? He goes, I don't know. And I said, well, you want one, we took five pictures. What are you gonna do with him? And he says, I wanna show it to my friends and, and, and tell him I met Shrek. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sorry, sir. I said, man, kids always tell the truth anyway. It was a wonderful evening. It was thought provoking, uh, funny, enjoyable, lots of laughter. We had a great evening. Um, Eslam was absolutely hilarious. We really enjoyed the show. I have a lot of gay and lesbian friends. This Sarah had a girlfriend and they were very lovey-dovey in public and it's their business you know they're human too but uh, I'm always I've always been curious so one day Sarah and Tina her girlfriend surprised me for my birthday and they gave me a box I opened it it was a Rolex watch I don't wear anything more than a Casio well forget this gold watch now but that's when I when I got some money and I said, what the hell is this? He said, it's for your birthday. Happy birthday. I'm like, what is this? I said, stupid, this is a watch. Isn't that what you wanted? I said, oh no, because of you two being lovey-dovey. I said, I wanted to watch, not I want to watch. <laughs> so they're like, what do you mean you wanted to watch? And I said, because I'm always curious. How do you fill each other up? Uh, as you know, I'm married, and uh, I have renamed my my wife as Google. You know why? Because no matter what I say or what I ask her, before I'm done, she has ten different answers for me. <laughs> Just like Google. Uh, cool. Speaking of Google, Google has you know in Iran things are not really good, and people are struggling. You know, people are getting killed and everything, and. Uh, they have the right to protest. Everyone has the right to protest anywhere. But in Iran, they get killed for it. But they ha I, I, I don't blame them for protesting because no matter how much they run to get somewhere, they don't get anywhere because it's Iran. That's why Google and the United Nations have uh, partnered up together and they want to change the name of Iran to Treadmill because no matter how much you run on Treadmill, you don't get anywhere, just like Iran. Wow. Islam was fabulous tonight. He was hilarious. I was laughing all night. Uh, my stomach aches tonight from uh, all his jokes. It was great. I get I get to see a lot of uh, different people in the audience. There was once a girl sitting right in the front row, and I could 
whenever there was a little silence in the show, I could hear click, 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 click. And I, and I would get distracted. I'm like, as I, w I would be talking like this. So what is that noise? I go, oh, oh, it's my peer thing. It's your what? It's my peer thing. <laughs> my friend said, it's my peer thing. Yeah. I said, I'm sorry, what's peer thing? She goes like this. Much and there was a ball <laughs> on each side of it. I just can't get the concept of screwing around with your tongue and put it. And I said, "What? What is? What does that do? Go? It very sexually stimulating." <laughs> <laughs> she sounded like somebody who just learned how to. Play. I said, "It's what? It very sexually stimulating." Somebody in the back of the ground uh, in the room said, "She's saying it's very sexually stimulating." <laughs> I'm like, really? If you talk like that, I go from this to... <laughs> <laughs> and, I don't, thank you, thank you. and I don't get people doing... I'm not old-fashioned, but I don't get this nose ring thing they have, and it's like a horseshoe. From a distance, when you look like, hey, you want a handkerchief? Your, your booger is hanging. You, know, you might want to clean it up. Seriously, that's what... Especially when they have jade... You know, it's green yeah. and it looks like and I'm all always cool. <laughs> <laughs> dried up. Dried up your hooker. That's what it is. I think the performer was absolutely awesome. The audience loved him. He could connect. He could make sure that he is involving the community or the audience with his jokes. He's a great stand-up comedian and I'm, it was wonderful. You know you're a bad driver when Siri says, Pull over and let me get out before they run. <laughs> My grandfather was funny, especially towards the end. He got the double whammy uh, illness. He got Alzheimer and he got the Parkinson. And when, you know, his hand was always like this. And one time, you know, he had no control on his hand. So one time, by accident, his hand fell in here, and he's <laughs> <laughs> every time I saw him, he's going like this and Don't enjoying it. That. And this he was smiling. <laughs> he was smiling, and, but he didn't know why he was doing it. But now, may you rest in peace. Ah, wherever you are, I hope I don't go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, he came to Minnesota and uh, he did an awesome job. We had American people here, Persian people here, and everyone was laughing. I had my boyfriend here and he had a great time. So, thank you so much, Islam. You did a wonderful job. As I said, kids have changed. I'm going to finish the show with this. Kids really have changed. I was sitting on a bus. As somebody with diabetes, I watched my, tried to watch my weight, and I cautioned people about eating junk food. Like what you're doing right now. <laughs> but great job. Anyway, uh, the, this kid came you and... Let them hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me? No, no I'm, you know I'm teasing. I only pick on people I like. That's why I don't talk to you. <laughs> no, uh, this kid sat next to me in a bus eating chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. And you know, we're Persians. We always have to give our opinion whether they ask for it or not. <laughs> so I said, you know, my son, you look at him and go, my son, you're not my daddy. You have to hear speech. The way you're eating that chocolate, it's very dangerous. It's harmful for your body. It can shorten your life. Well, my grandpa lived to be 103 years old. Really? Did he eat chocolate like you? No, he minded his own fucking business. <laughs> and that's what kids are like now. Not only I love the show, but my wife that's an American absolutely loved the show and she thinks that you are the Seinfeld of Iranians. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for believing in Spanish family. Oh please, be serious, be serious. Oh that's you guys. <laughs> Was the show that bad? You have to leave right now. <laughs> No, you have to go to sleep. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you Armenian? Yeah. I'm so sorry. There's room for improvement. <laughs> no, Armenians are great people. 
You know, when I got when I got overweight, it was because of the Armenian neighbors that I had with the house. Oh bought. yeah, yeah, I remember. My that. God, they go like, Anthony, come barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. I was there two oh, nights ago. Yeah, barbecue, barbecue. Oh, barbecue. Three times a week, and I grew up to 286 pounds. Mm -hmm. I love them, but no. they love me in the wrong way, <laughs> and I can never say no to food. Yeah. But thank you very much. Thank you, so thank thank you, you for so coming. Much. I hope you enjoyed the show. Of course. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you for making our last show memorable. You. And you have a great night. Thank you. 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 Thank